Hello guys, today I want to show you two things in one video. First, if you want to add terms and conditions and privacy policy to Laravel Jetstream, it's very easy. And second thing, how to parse the markdown text, for example, if you have the page for terms and policies in markdown or whatever static page. I really like the Jetstream solution, which you can use for your own projects outside of Jetstream. So two things. First, in registration form, you may want to enable terms and conditions as it is often appearing on the pages and it's very easy in Jetstream. So in config Jetstream, there are a list of features, the array. You just need to uncomment features, terms and privacy policy. It's in one feature, but you can easily enable and disable each of them separately. I will show you that in a minute by just uncommenting that and refreshing the page. We have this line, terms of service and privacy policy. If we click any of those, there is a new page in blank in a separate browser tab, privacy policy. And we will get to that in a minute. First, how to disable one of them. So the source of that is in the register blade, which is public in resources views auth published by Jetstream. You have if enabled, then checkbox and then links. And it would seem that you can remove one of those links and it would work. In fact, it wouldn't because the translated text still exists. So I would suggest to, instead of using translation here, use plain language and then these are the links to actually policy show and terms show pages. That's how you enable or disable each of them. The main thing is terms checkbox, which is required and text is not that relevant. And then the second part of the video is about markdown. Interestingly, how that terms show and policy show is implemented. So there's a controller of privacy policy and separately terms controller, which are not public. They are in the source of Laravel gesturing in the vendor. So you cannot edit those, but I wanted to show you the implementation. So return view policy and that policy view is public actually. So you can open that in resources, views, policy blade, which just shows policy, nothing really fancy here, but where that policy comes from, this is pretty interesting. So there's policy file, which is in resources markdown. So it's not in the views, but it is kind of a resource text, but at the same time, it's not a language constant or anything. It's just policy.markdown. Similarly, terms.markdown. So I wanted to show you the idea that you can save markdown file if you have some static text here, for example, for pages like this, it could be about page, contact page or something like that. Then in your controller, you could do file get contents, then string markdown with Laravel helper. And that would be your final HTML string, which you parse into the blade like this. Of course, be careful with that syntax, because if you add variables from users, then it could become a security issue. But if you are in full control of that text yourself, then it's totally a valid approach. So added text here, for example, let's put that in bold in markdown and let's refresh the terms. Oh, we had policy here. So let's click the terms here and we have added text in bold. Cool, right? So yeah, that's it. A quick demo of just stream two features. If you want to get more videos, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support the channel, go to Laravel Daily Com and subscribe to premium membership, which includes a lot of courses and premium tutorials released new ones every week. So this week, these are the latest courses. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.